Ladies and gentlemen, from the blue corner, he spotted in blue trunks, red canvas, red, black, white socks to match. He tipped the scale at 124.4 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, he had had five fights, one of five by way of knockout. From the blue corner, could see Clark Covey. Across the ring to the red corner, he's also spotted in black and yellow trunks. Black canvas to match. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Crab Boxing Club, he tipped the scale at 118.2 pounds. He have had three fights, one, two by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he go by the na ring name, Samuel Mate Lai. Judges by the size of the ring, May Mesa Akako, Michael Nikwe, Roger Bano, and the man in charge in the ring, Erasmus O. Guys, you know the rules already. I need a good enough clean fight. She comes. Good luck. Round one. This this is an international bout between Ben and Bendis, Kaklavi Martin, Koshi, and Samuel Mate Lai. Both undefeated. Koshi has a record of 5 and 0, whilst Samuel has a record of 3 and 0. <coughs> Somebody's O would have to go in this particular fight. Somebody will not remain undefeated after this fight. Both men are wary of each other, sizing up each other. Martin giving the feints, but Koshivi is popping his jab. They must watch out for the head clash, especially this fight would be the battle of the footworks because it is a southpaw facing an octodos fighter. And the person who wins. That, that's, uh, that has already started with Martin get a better footworks over Koshivika Klavi. Koshivi has has switched to Octodos temporarily. He has now switched to Octodos completely. It's a very interesting fight so far. Martin to the body. They are both caught. Samuel on the offensive. Samuel on the offensive. He is looking forward to ending this fight early. He has gone to the body of Koshivi Kaklavi. He is, he is filing the pressure. He is not giving Martin Koshivi a breathing space. He is on the offensive. Forward ever, backwards never. That is what Mate Samuel is exhibiting. He has hurt Martin to the body. Koshivi needs to put up great performance, up his game, or if not, he would lose his O in this particular bout. If he still wants to protect his undefeated record, he needs to do more than he, I, he has been doing so far. Martin. The round one has ended, and look at the gains <laughs> from Samuel Mate.
Martin Koshivik Kaklavi. Who is an undefeated fighter with a record of 5 and 0, having fought all those fight, five fights in Ghana, though he is a Benenoa. He made his pro debut in 2001 against Lukman Bashiru at the Aborigin Beach Resort in Keta followed by his second pro bout, in which he won by around 40 KO at the T-Square Arena in my very hometown, Aplau. Now he is coming back into the fight, but Martin is, is looking at him, inviting, baiting him in, but Koshivi is very, very alert. Martin, Martin, Martin using the, the defensive skills of Penel Whitaker, the legend boxer who is now late. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Martin Koshivika Klavi does not look confident enough. Samuel Mate is, is making series of complaints to the referee. Nice body shot from Samuel Mate. Stiff jab from Samuel Mate. Both men are looking for the wide swings, but they have not been accurate in this particular round. That was a good feint for Samomate. Martin Koshivi Kaklavi is reacting well. That was a good body shot for Samomate pressing the action in this last few seconds. Samomate. End of round two. This fight is getting interesting. This fight is getting interesting. Seconds out, round three. <laughs> round three. Koshivi Kaklav is circling the ring. He wants to take the power away from Samo Mate. Nice uppercut from Kaklavi. Nice body shot from Samo Matilai.
the referee intervenes and warns Martin Kaklavi about rabbit punching. An entertaining fight so far. Somebody's O oh, has got to go in this particular fight. Both men have proved their undefeated record on the line. Though Samuel Mate. Samuel Mate digging to the body of Martin Koshivi Kaklavi. And the. And I think that will take a toll on Koshivi in the later rounds of this particular fight. Samo Mate, who, whose dream is to be a world champion. An, ex, an exciting interview he had with the boxing doctor on Ace Boxing TV. You can watch that and subscribe to the channel. It's an interesting fight. Both men are exchanging good leather. This is an action-packed fight. This is what we call boxing. This is why we love boxing so much. This is the sweet science, as we call it. The sweet science. Oh, oh. I think I th the rabbit punches were not intentional. The rabbit punches were not intentional. There seems to have been a cut from, from those exchanges. And the doctor has been called to duty. The referee has instructed them to watch their heads. It's an interesting fight so far. Both men wanting more of the action after the bell has gone. Round four. Round number four. Koshivi Kaklavi has switched back to South Pole. He has switched back to South Pole. And you could see he wants to give a different reading to and a different angle to the reading of Samo Matelae. Samo Matelae pressing the action and closing the gaps between him and his Benenoa international opponent. Nice dig to the body from Samo Mate. Three successive body shots. Nice straight right hand from Koshivi Kakavi. This is an interesting fight. This is an interesting fight. 
Both men want wants the W. Both men wants the W. Samo Mate with the wild punch. Nice left hook from Koshibi. This is a very close fight. Mate digging to the body of Koshivi. Nice shot to the body from Samo Mate Lai. Another one to the body. Those body shots will take a toll on Martin Koshivika Klavi in the later rounds. He, it, it is an investment in the bank Martin is doing. Going to the body of Koshika Klavi. Ten seconds more to go. Both men truly really don't like each other. Let's see what the next round has for us as they both retire to their seats. Out. Round five. Round number five. Referee. Martin Koshivi noticed that it is difficult for Samo Mate to close the gap if he switched to South Pole. So he has maintained the South Pole stands in round number five. And Martin looks on Petev. He is sticking to his game plan. Going to the body, going to the body. Martin Kakavi is on the offensive in this particular fight. He is with winning the battle of the foot. I don't think Samuel Martin prepared for a South Pole. So he is having it a little bit difficult winning the battle of the footworks. We all know that in the South, in the South Pole versus an Octodos fighter, the person who, who steps outside is the one that wins the battle of the footworks and is the one who is going to land the more accurate punches. And that is, you could see that if you could watch the feet of both fighters, you could see that Samuel Mate's foot is often inside in this particular round, and that is the disadvantage. He should try and get his foot outside that of Koshivi Klaklavi. It is a very close round so far. We want to see some more actions 
from these men. Samomati now finding it difficult to close the gap between nice body shot from Samomati and he and he received a left hook in return. Another left hook from Koshevi Klaklavi. The body shots keeps coming from Samomati. So far, this is a very entertaining round. This is a very entertaining round. This is what the sweet science is all about. Hit and don't get hit. Samomate looks guys, his his mouth is open. That means he is he is breathing in air, and that is not a good sign at all. And uh, so has uh, Kaklavi. His also mouth is open. Both men has given their all in this particular fight, and it's going to be a very good one. Samog, someone needs to back up. If not, he would be laughing at the long side, at the wrong side of history after the fight is all said and done. You could see the venom in the eye of Koshivi Kakavi, the Benenoir international who has fought all his five fights in Ghana, including the set one. He is a good traveler, five and O. Oh. Koshivi Kakavi, the Ghanaian international, also three and O. Oh. Born right here in Accra, Ghana. And sex. Fucking need that. Round number six commence with Koshivi Kakavi still in the South Pole stands. He's noticed that he's found more success in the, in the South Pole stands. But Samuel Lai, Lai has other plans, his head movement again to the body, and he is depositing more coins into his investment. That is going to the body of Koshivi Klaklavi. The fans are all pleased around here. They are making noise. They are chanting for both boxes. Koshivi has been warned about the use of elbow by referee Rasmus Ou. Both men need to come behind their job in order to get this fight going. Their job has not been accurate in this particular round. I wish they could do more. That was a left hook. Which in, whoa, nice exchange there from both fighters. Another body shot. Wow, straight right hand from Samuel Mate. Now, Koshivi Kaklavi has switched back to the octodor stance. Nice body shot again from Samuel. But it has been regarded as a low blow by referee Rasmus who has asked them to continue. Straight right hand from Koshivi Kaklavi. They seems to be gassing out, so their accuracy rate has dropped in this particular round. But double jab from Koshivi Kaklavi. Another rabbit punch warning from referee Rasmus O. This is a very, very close fight. Two gallant warriors that are putting their lives on the line for our entertainment. Whoa! 
That was the first knockdown. Less than 10 seconds to go. What can Samomate do? Less than 10 seconds to go. The we have we have recorded the first knockdown in this particular fight in the sixth round. It is getting interesting. Someone will say it is getting tensions in here. It is getting tensions in here. Someone's O would have to go. An undefeated record would have to go tonight. Samok Mate, 3 and 0. Martin Koshivi Kaklavi, 5 and 0. Round seven. Round number seven commence with Koshivi Kaklavi switching back to the South Pole stance. A stance with which he had a couple of success in round four and five. He was knocked down at the tail end of the sixth round by Samuel Marty from a check right hook. That was not a knockdown. It has been recorded as a slip by referee Erasmus Ou. Nice left, straight left from Koshivika Klavi. What a mess from Martin. This is a very good fight. Both men giving their all. Both men giving their all in this particular fight. Samo Mate Laie being the accurate of the two in this particular fight. Kaklavi looks hurt. He is hurt. He is holding on. He is holding on, but he looks hurt. Martin pressing the action. He should be careful. He doesn't. He doesn't. He should be careful. He doesn't gas himself out whilst trying to press the action. Martin Koshivi Kaklavi seems to have recovered. Martin, oh, straight right hand from Martin Koshivi Kaklavi, who has switched back to the Octodos stands. And, and, and it's getting very interesting here. He is on wobbling feet, that is Martin Koshivi Kaklavi. He has been warned about low ball. Koshivi Kaklavi is unable to move like he used to because of the punishment he has received from Samomate in this particular round. And secondly, because Samomate has gone to the body in this particular fight, it has slowed down Koshivi Kaklavi. And I think in the next few rounds, he would be there for the taking if he doesn't find his second win in this particular fight. Both men look are looking forward to winning this particular fight. And this fight 
has been a very, very good one. It has been very, very competitive. And they are giving us our money's worth. Thank you, sports lovers from across the globe for joining us on Ace TV. The eighth and final round, and both warriors have shown each other their respect. Samuel Kojovi Kaklavi circling the ring. Samuel Mate pressing the action. Samuel Mate pressing the action. Samuel Mate, also known as the Eagle Eye. Both men giving off their best. They are gallant warriors. They deserve all the accolades. There is no shame in defeat for whoever would not come out victorious. They have given off their best. 5 and 0 and 3 and 0. This is good entertainment. Samuel Mate. Still going to the body of Kojo Koshivi Klaklavi. What a fight we have on our hands. Both fighters are now standing in the bucket. Samuel Mate keeps going to the body. And he is, he has shown that he is a very vicious body puncher. Accuracy to the body. And it, this is very, very entertaining. I like what I'm seeing. The crowd. The this is a very interesting fight. I thought referee Rasmus Owu should have allowed the fight to flow a little bit. Oh, what an exchange! What an exchange! What an exchange! What an exchange! Both men giving off their best. Both men giving off their best. Oh, what else? Why is the referee doing this? This is shameful for on the part of referee Rasmus Owu. This is shameful. Referee Rasmus Ohu shouldn't have interjected in doing that. He should have allowed both men to go at each other. Why? 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 <laughs> Referee Rasmus Ohu is using old school tactics. He is giving Samuel Mate a rest, going to the corner to give instruction. He has realized that Samuel Mate, the home fighter, is gas. Let's call it a spade. Let's call it a spade a spade. And Samuel uh, Mate is guys. He wanted to finish the fight in the seventh round and he could not. Now, Kaklavi is pressing the action and Samuel Mate had no, he doesn't have the energy to continue. Thanks to, thanks to, thanks to Erasmus Ohu. Thanks to Erasmus Ohu, Samuel Mate was saved in this particular fight because he was in trouble. Because he was in trouble. Kaklavi showed that he is a gallant warrior. He travels to fight people. And no matter what happens, 
Both men have given of their best. Both men have given of their best. I think Erasmus Owu got so much involved in this particular fight, which is not good for the sports of boxing. Which is not good for the sports of boxing. He should have allowed both men to go at each other. Now let's wait for the verdict. Let's wait for the verdict. Winners win, losers lose. To succeed, skill, talent is just not enough. But the will to win is worth much more. It's about time to fight. My name is Holy Dogbato from Votariji and I'm a boxer. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the two boxes. What a fight. What a fight. It is a sport weight contest of rounds.
and we ended all the rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Judge Michael Nikwe scored about 75-76. Judge May Mensa Akako scored about 75-76. Judge Roger Bano scored about 75-77. By a unanimous decision, the winner, Kwasi... Wow! What a well deserved win! What a well deserved win! It was a very close fight, and like I said in the commentary, it could have gone either way. There is no shame in losing this fight. I think Samuel Mate can come back. The ego eye can come back, cause she did his best. Cause she did his best, especially when he switched from Octodos. To South Paul, he gave Samuel Mate loads of problems. Samuel Mate could not keep up with the footworks anytime Koshi switches to South Paul. And the exchanges, and the exchanges, and the exchanges at the tail end of the seventh round and the eighth rounds were very, very exciting.